ESPN has let go and has said goodbye to Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson from their lead NBA broadcasting team. It's the team you've seen on the finals for 15 seasons has been broken up with Mike Breen, Jeff Van Gundy, and Mark Jackson. I'm very disappointed. I have enjoyed this team for years. You can say, well, maybe the disagreement and arguing at times between Van Gundy and Jackson got old. But as far as I'm concerned, they were the top NBA broadcasting team. I like the teams that TNT puts out. But this is one you've trusted. I mean, 15 finals they've done together. You have Mike Breen, who I think is as good as it gets for calling the games. You have a great former player in Mark Jackson. And you have a coach in Jeff Van Gundy. So you had experience there, you had three that you trusted, and those who rightfully earned quite a reputation, a reputation that you'd really respect. It's not gonna be the same. It's not gonna be the same. ESPN's smart and they kept Mike Breen and they understand that, well, he's that good. You gotta keep Mike Breen. But I really enjoyed Van Gundy and Jackson. And you could say their chemistry and how they worked off of each other. And usually I feel that three's a crowd when it comes to announcing. It rarely works. I mean, you think of Monday Night Football on ABC. I grew up with Frank Allen Dan. That worked. But when I've seen it over the years, generally I don't like it. It's the exception when it works. And I'd have to say this is a good of a a team, broadcasting team, if you want to say, three-man announcing team that I can think of right now. Another one I liked in the NFL, and I'm not saying there was good, but this would go back to the 90s. This was NBC football in the late 90s where you had Dick Enberg, very underrated Dick Enberg, Paul McGuire, and Phil Simms. NBA on TNT they had for the conference finals, they put three together. They had Kevin Harlan, Reggie Miller, who they usually have, and then they had Stan Van Gundy. But when thinking of all the three-man teams, though, again, I say I feel like this was the best and the most memorable with all due respect to Frank Allen Dan oh another one was in the early 2000s you had what we called ABC Aikman, Buck and Collinsworth I don't remember it that well I I didn't I did not critique and analyze things I was very young I'd have to go back and watch some games with them doing it again but I don't remember it being that great but this was the best three man team out there and I'm really sorry to see it be broken up and for me in many ways that's the finals you're going to start the finals off with Breen, Van Gundy and Jackson there's nothing like seeing uh, Van Gundy's expression at the start of these games priceless (laughs) <laughs> priceless but something I've never got around to talking about too much yet and that's broadcasting we talk a lot about uniforms 
the games themselves, of course. I like talking about stadiums, ballparks, and announcing, as it plays a huge part in the game. And awful announcing can ruin a ball game, a sport, a telecast for you. It really can. And who have they replaced? It looks like they're going to replace Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy with Doris Burke and Doc Rivers. Which I don't think are bad selections. I mean, Doris Burke is beloved by many. I like Doris. I don't love Doris. I think she's good. But I do feel like... Okay, she's a little overrated. It's not just because she's a woman. And Doc Rivers, I don't know. I think Doc Rivers, like many would say, overrated coach. He did win the NBA Finals with the big three that the Celtics had in 08. He fell short many times. I don't know if he has a I just don't see him having a great announcing voice myself. I just don't see it. I, I should say I can't hear it. Not so much seeing. It's a matter of hearing. Well, it's a downgrade. It's a downgrade. And, you know, even watching the All-Star game, something was missing in the All-Star game. And Talking about the MLB All-Star game just a few weeks ago and is Joe Buck. It's not the same without Joe Buck or someone with a little more experience. And Joe Davis is fine. And I've criticized Joe Buck a lot over the years. He's at times been quite full of himself. There's no doubt about it. But I came to appreciate Joe Buck. And Joe Buck is the voice of championship sports. Between doing as many World Series as he did, and then now at this point having as many Super Bowls under his belt as he has, name me someone who's called more important games over the last 25 to almost 30 years is Joe Buck. There's nobody. There's nobody. And I even miss Tim McCarver a little bit, too. So we'll see where they end up, Van Gundy and Jackson. But I say shame on you, ESPN, for being cheap. And you broke up a great thing. And I think it's going to be another case is people are going to appreciate them more now that they're gone. That's how it usually is, right?